Oscar, kom her. Hej. Kom her. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Annette, this is Oscar, and this is my boat. Um, I'm gonna do a whole introduction video of why I own a boat, what I'm doing with it. Basically, I bought her as my coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic that we're all going through. So for me, boats are the, the essence of independence, being outside, enjoying nature, and DIYing. And in this channel, I really want to share my passion for boats, my passion for DIYing, and just my whole journey of fixing up this old lady to make her look brand new, maybe better than new. Um, just to bring some positivity and some smiles into your lives and maybe some inspiration <clears throat> to follow your own dreams, start a new hobby, get through this second round of the pandemic as okay as we can. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm really excited for you to join me. Today is actually a big day. Um, it's the first day that it's warm enough to start working on the boat itself uh, for the first time in like four months. Um, as you might have picked up from my accent, I'm from Germany and we've had a pretty cold winter. Enough of the rambling, I'm gonna take off her winter coat and we're going to start work on her today. First layer is off. So this is my boat. Um, she looks very 80s, which is okay because she was made in 1985. I've thought about keeping this 80s style and just polishing it, but I'm really not that into it. So we're gonna paint her. Not today though, at least not on the outside. My plan for today is to try out the paint that I bought for the outside, but try it out on the inside in her little cabin so that I get a feel for the paint and how to use it. Because if I screw up on the inside, it's not, it's not as bad as if I do that on the outside and everybody can tell. So that's what we're gonna do today. Are you ready, Oski? <laughs> Last time I saw my boat was four months ago and I just left everything that I was working on on the boat. So it looks, as you might expect, pretty messy. I'm still gonna show you the inside, I'm gonna show you the deck and then we're just gonna go start work on it. I guess you could say that it's an uh, an important part of a good before and after to show you the real messy before. So let's start here. I already worked on the door. I sanded it down and I painted it with a mahogany paint. This window looks really stupid, but it's actually, I've tried out the boat once and it was really um, useful because you could see if there were any big boats coming behind you because I'm using this boat on the Danube, which is one of the biggest rivers in Europe. And there are some really, really big ships, cargo ships and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's good to know who's behind you. Um, I already put in a new floor. I might, change it out again depends on how i like it with the new paint okay so then we have two benches one on each side they are full to the brim right now with just stuff obviously that's going to change this little thing is a life vest for my dog <laughs> this is my own yeah, just stuff. I've got, um, I've got to make lids to go on top of 
the big hole and I'm probably going to have to reinforce the side of it because it's got an indentation a big one and this one actually has the I have no idea what you call it but it's part of the electric system I guess it's not an engine this is what it looks like because German water safety and noise level laws um, only let me buy an electric, an electric boat so this is what it looks like the power lines run in here to this little box right there and then the lines go through here and then I've got two big batteries one in here and the other one on the other side this is what the cabin looks like I built this nifty little thing in the middle so that I can add a bed or cushions um, I added these two things oh my god Leo it's okay alles gut Leo <laughs> I already made these curtains um, you can they've got little straps so you can roll them up and then strap them up there and I also added some little velcro strips um, on both sides obviously on the boat and on the fabric so you can stick them to the wall <laughs> um, I added some LED lights which you probably can't really see right now if I turn them on well a little bit yeah they've got a handy little remote control you can dim them too, it's really nice. The battery charger. And then I've got these two rails for the middle part so that we can close it and make the little bed. You can see my cabin is tiny, tiny, tiny. I still want to make it pretty. It's, let's say, my boat is the boat version of a tiny house. If a normal boat is a normal house, this is tiny but I still I love it so much and I don't know how much I can fit in one video but I'm going to have to well let's start the what we want to end up with I want to paint the inside of the boat because right now it's got this really ugly um, gray color this is like a I guess eggshell ish beige something like that but this is gray and it's got some really nasty spots it's got old silicone they tried to save the window but it's leaking we've got this stuff going on up here it's just not very pretty and then all of these little sticky residues from sticky things now you know why i want to paint now the steps that we have to take to get there is one sand it down in order to be able to sand down the whole cabin or at least the part that i want to paint white i have to take off everything that is in my way that includes the curtains the sticky things it includes the windows all these old screws because if you look closely this screw is just one big ball of rust and you know what makes iron rust so i think they might not have silicone well i can see that they didn't add any silicone on the screw they did with these but even here the silicone is getting so old that you can just pull it off very easily so i'm also gonna have to take off all the metal parts the stainless steel parts on the outside all of these things will have to come off and I'm going to put them back on once the boat is completely painted 
everything that I'm doing with my window now is based on a video that I watched by Fossils Direct. They've got a really good video explaining how you exchange a window like this. I'm going to link the video in my description, in my video description. They said you just pop out the little middle part and that should be it. I'm sure that it's not just gonna be it, but let's just give it a try. Oh my god, maybe that's really just it. My boat is about to not have a window anymore. I did not expect this to be that easy, just for the record, because usually something happens that is not in those tutorial videos, but apparently even after 35 years, that's all you have to do. Now, the guys from Seals Direct say that you need a glazing tool, which I don't own yet. For now, I just need to get the windows out somehow and I don't need to preserve them they are ugly they've got um, they've got little cracks they've got the lines from where the tinted sticky thing I, I ripped it off but there were bubbles underneath so these are the lines that you can see it's not pretty I'm not gonna use them afterwards nobody's going to use them for anything afterwards or I'm just gonna try to get them out somehow This is what I expected. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me very nervous to see my boat without a window. Um, that's that, let's hope that I can get the new ones in. The plexiglass is a little thicker than I expected it to be, but it should be fine. I should get it at a hardware store. So now on <laughs> to the other two windows. This one is going to be interesting because it's been siliconed down. I'm gonna show you. Hang on. Okay, yeah. You see all of this nasty, old, yucky silicone. I don't even know how I'm gonna get to the little middle strip that I just pulled out because it's covered in silicone. I don't know. Let's get to it. After taking off all the nasty old silicone. Next up is taking off 
these stainless steel rails. For the paint that I bought, they advised to use this kind of sanding paper, specifically for bright colors. And since I'm going to paint it white, I thought this is probably going to do the trick. sanding I'm keeping the mask on just because of the little particles that are probably still floating around in the air now I have to make sure that the surface that I want to paint is dry and grease free and dust free <laughs> so I'm doing the dust free thing first I've got my water and I've got a sponge and I'm just going over the area that I have sanded, washing out the sponge, and doing the same thing again, obviously until I've covered the entire area that I want to sand, uh, that I want to paint, oh my god. Then I have to make sure that it's grease free, I'm going to do that with um, some strong uh, cleaning alcohol, and then it's gonna have to dry properly and then we can paint. painting and I'm done working on the boat to be honest for today. I am very tired. It's been a long day. It is, I don't know what time it is but it's been the entire day. The sun has almost set so I'm going to show you right now and um, then I'm gonna go and have some tea. I guess after all the cleaning up 